Hi everyone, this is Eric from Flex. We've got another video for you focused around Aura and Aura Config Tool. In this video, we'll focus on how to download and install Aura's drivers. I will walk you through how to install the drivers using the Aura Config Tool and how to install the drivers manually. When you first connect Aura to your computer, the Aura Config Tool might not detect your Aura. This is because your computer might not have the updated drivers needed for the Aura to connect. Click on the Help menu and then click Update Aura Drivers. When you're updating the drivers, it's very important to make sure that no Auras are connected during this process. Once you make sure no Auras are connected to your computer, go ahead and click Yes. Drivers allow your computer to speak with USB devices. These specific drivers that we are downloading allow your computer to speak with Aura. The drivers should not take long to download, but when they're complete, click the Finish button, and the Aura Config tool lets you know if the drivers were downloaded and installed. Because there are so many different brands of components for our computers, and so many different versions of Windows, you may have to download and install the drivers yourself. To update the drivers manually, click the Windows Start button and search for Device Manager. A small window will pop up showing you a list of different components that are connected to your computer. Most often, you'll find Aura labeled as STM32 in the Ports or Universal Serial Bus Devices section. Once you have successfully located Aura, simply right-click and then click Update Driver. A window will pop up asking how do you want to search for drivers. Select Browse My Computer for Drivers. Then, another window will pop up. Select Let Me Pick from a List of Available Drivers. Another window will pop up showing you the available drivers. Select the most up-to-date version and click Next. Windows will let you know if the driver was successfully updated. And that's it. That's all you need to do. Simply close out all the windows and then reconnect your Aura. As you can see, the computer can now connect to Aura. If you have any specific questions or would like to see any specific videos in the future, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.